And I get low. Is anything gonna go right today? I don't know. It hasn't been <laughs> hasn't been great, has it? Today? I don't know. We've got some drywall up, we and it did. looks pretty good. So that is true. That that is true. It's, it just was a slow start. It's just as it often is. I don't know. <laughs> Everything is. Uh, oh, that didn't work. Let me try this. Well, here's the deal. We forget every day when we show up to do this. Every day. We forget that we are working in a 130 year old house that has settled for 130 years. Yeah. So everything that in your mind at two o'clock in the morning is gonna be so easy and quick, it, it's never quick, it's is it? never quick and it is certainly never Maybe easy. Maybe it's me, I don't know. <laughs> It's not us. We're not going to say that it's us. Okay. I'm definitely going to blame the inanimate object, which is the house. Yes, the house. And the drywall. Pearl, well, come on. I mean, help us a little, Pearl. Come we're on. trying to hang drywall right now, and nothing is square or plumb or uh, level. No, so but anyway. we're getting it there. We're getting we're it there. We're getting there. Uh, so let's talk about, let's talk about the week in review. This crazy week that I feel like has been four weeks long. Well, because we travel. Yes. Do you and guys feel that way? Like if you take a little tiny, like just a, just like a 36, 48, 72 hour trip, does all of a sudden time expand for you? <laughs> like it does for us? It's, it's strange. I told Lane, we got back and I was like, it feels like we've been gone for two weeks. And it was 72 hours. Was it even 72 hours? No, I think it was 48. 48 hours. And it was a lifetime. So, uh, but what did we accomplish this week? Well, I, I think we finished framing up the bathroom we, because it wasn't done. We did, and we put in an enormous header. Uh, this is a load-bearing wall. Our rafters right above us here, and there were how many lane? Three posts that were in here, and this was once a closet for this bedroom. Now we're making this a bathroom, and we needed the space, so we ended up taking out all of that and wanted to carry that weight of the rafter and the roof and <laughs> everything else. So we put in this header supported by this two by four and a three by four on this end of that old growth strong wood. And um, went in easily, don't you think, Lane? Oh, it was a breeze. Actually, we teamed up and got that thing in there pretty good. I was really kind of worried about it. <laughs> it's very Because heavy. it is heavy. T tell me what it's made of, Kevin. What is the, uh, why is the header so heavy? Uh, well, the header, so this one we use two by tens. You got two by fours on your base, two two by tens on both sides, and another two by four at the top, giving you your three and a half inch span. And so we'll, it gets pretty heavy after a while. <laughs> How long is it? Uh, it is eight feet long, exactly. Eight feet long. Eight feet long. So now what can Lane do? Lane can not worry about the <laughs> wall coming down and the <laughs> roof coming down because this thing's going to hold the weight. That's right. So we'll end up building out the ceiling in this bathroom. We're going to bring it down to 10 feet, which is still very tall. The rest of the house is 11 feet. So we basically, we lost a foot with this header. Better, better losing height in the bathroom than losing the house. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't want to lose height by the roof, the ceiling coming down. So, <laughs> so we're going to lose height by building it down. And you have all your demo done? Um, yeah. I think so. I may still have to demo some out of that closet. But yeah, uh, it was a little nerve wracking, even though this house wasn't going to go anywhere. I mean, it's solid as a rock. But taking out these huge posts is a little scary, you know, when they've been... Taking out a load-bearing wall? Yeah, on this <laughs> load-bearing wall, and it's been holding that weight for so long. And you know what they said when I took them out? <sighs> oh, man, I'm stuck. <laughs> and then I just cut them and use them again. <laughs> yeah, brief rest. Now they're back and in they're, action. Some of them were laying down over there. Couple of them. Getting a little rest. One of them had a little termite damage. It did, old termite damage. Mm -hmm. It really wasn't doing much of a job at all anymore, was it? Well, you know, it was probably still holding a few hundred pounds. <laughs> not, not what it once did. Yeah, sure. so all of our bathroom is framed. Except for our drop ceiling. 
Well, we won't talk about that right now. Let's not, don't be negative. Focus I'm just on the. Saying, there's still more to go. There is. So I've still got to block out all my walls, too. But uh, yeah, most of my framing here is done. I still do have to frame in the door on the closet over here. But we're getting there. Awesome. And neither of us either were maimed or injured, nor maimed or injured one another. No, we got it in there pretty yeah. good. I was proud of us. Like, first that go. Was a, that was a big deal. I like first try. Didn't have to go up and down the ladder 15 times. Just like boop, 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 and in it went. Yeah, so. Very proud of us on that score. I am too, I am too. Yeah. I worked some more on stripping the mantle in the dining room. Did you get any video of that? I sure did. And good. I sent it to your computer already. Oh, good. Um, that, but that, I, you can see the, it's coming through it's though. Coming, it's still a little messy. It is gonna be such a, here's the problem. So, you know, I love my smart strip. And it is, a, it is a wonder drug that works wonders on paint. What nothing works wonders on, shellac. Shellac. Once you put any kind of stripper on shellac other than denatured alcohol, you get a goopy mess. And so I put that smart strip on to take the paint off and the, the shellac turns into a goopy mess. So that's why it is taking a month of some days to get that done. Well, you're kind of just doing that when you've got time anyway. Well, that's because our main priority is this bedroom I'll right now. I'll be screaming and throwing things. So just a little bit here and there, it's working for me. But you can see, you can kind of see the finish line. It's gonna line. be magnificent. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty. I also got most of the wallpaper down in the dining room, which taking down wallpaper is always a booger. It's hilarious because you can see where the wallpaper won't come off, it's where the plaster patches are. So they like, plast they patched the plaster yeah. and then hung the paper before the patches were dry. So now the paper is like eternally in those patches. It's gonna have to be sanded all. Probably so, <laughs> but that's okay. That's I okay. mean, what's one more thing? This episode is brought to you by Curiosity, Curiosity Stream. Stream. Curiosity Stream is a subscription streaming service that offers you thousands of documentary and non-fiction titles brought to you by some of the world's best filmmakers featuring exclusive films that you could only find on Curiosity Stream. Curiosity Stream is the Netflix for the knowledgeable. It's the Hulu for history buffs. It's the Disney Plus for the scientists in us all. And guess what? What? Curiosity Stream only costs $20 a year. A year? $20 a year, not a month, a year. That's cheaper than anything. It's a beautiful platform. We There's love it. so much to see there. My favorite show on right now is The Story of Electricity. Yes, Kevin has a passion for electricity. They are going to talk about Nikola Tesla, who I love. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a three part series, so you can really get into it and it makes you smarter. You can walk around and tell your coworkers what you know about electricity. Exactly. I won't be running electricity in any of our homes, probably because now I know How I shouldn't mess it with it. <laughs> Thanks to Curiosity Stream. Thanks to Curiosity Stream. What are you watching right now? I'm watching The Power of Plants right now. I have a green thumb and I am fascinated by plants by their medicinal properties, by the way that they adapt in the environment. And it is only a two part series. I wish it were 20 parts, but it's a two part series that tells me all about the power of plants. You know what they need to know? What do they need to know? If you go to curiositystream.com slash restoration, use restoration at checkout. Yes. You can save 25%. What? 25% so off gonna... of the $20 that it normally costs. Now it's only $14.99 for an entire year. You know, the, the great thing about Curiosity Stream, not only is it this beautiful streaming platform, but it's available on everything. Right. So if you've got Roku, if you've got Xbox, if you've got whatever you have, right. we all, have Roku, so that's what I know. all platforms. All platforms, uh, you can get Curiosity Stream and it is available worldwide. And you know what else I love? What, what do you I mean? love? What? what? You know how all the other streaming platform services, you run out of things to watch, which seems crazy, but you watch every show there is and then you have to wait for new content to come out. Curiosity Stream adds new content every single week. Every so even week. if I manage to watch their entire back library of programming. That's impossible. Every week, that's true. I'm gonna get new content, new things I can choose from and I love that. So Curiosity Stream, you guys are gonna love it. Believe me, take our word for it. From go over there. From one learning channel to another. There you go. You're gonna love Curiosity Stream. CuriosityStream.com slash restoration. Go there today. Woohoo! Look, hey, I should say hey. this. I should say this. When we say this is what we're gonna do, 
it That's might not be what we do. Guaranteed. We might change our minds. Nothing is ever guaranteed. Right, right. So uh, I guess I'm not even sure we're going to be alive next week. You but, know, depending on the house we're in. But your idea of uh, on the closet, though, so it's just going to be a closet. A closet with a door. <laughs> but of course, that's not fancy enough for Lane. But she had this uh, oh, idea a to. Special house. She had this idea to build in a dresser, basically, and then hanging closets on both yes. sides. And well, I didn't, I can't take credit for the idea. It's been very done before. fancy Victorian homes, very, very fancy Victorian homes had these beautiful built in wardrobes that had, especially during the East Lake period, these incredible East Lake surrounds and a little, you know, sometimes a seating area, but always a mirror and, and, you know, the shift robe on both sides. And they were just glorious. And so I thought, why not do a super parsed down version of that in our little pearl? And I think it's going to be fantastical in gonna there. Going to have a mirror behind it, and so yeah. we're going to try. Well, the we, plan is to also to use that beadboard, yes. put it back there, and that's going to look lovely. Use the beadboard for the lovely. doors. But tell them about the dresser that we found. Well, so we went shopping looking for dressers here in Natchez. Here in Natchez, didn't have great luck. No luck. Although you know there are some good antique stores here. It's almost like really high-end nice fantastic yeah, stuff or flea market or flea market there's, there's not, no every man antique and we kind of live in the middle don't we yeah absolutely uh so we didn't find much but then we uh had a trip because we were speaking and i say we loosely since i spoke for 30 seconds and lane spoke for 45 minutes right road tripping Woo! here we come ackworth here we, georgia here we come in ackworth georgia marietta got the fellas got the fellas with us Rolling with my homies. <laughs> gonna go spake. Say well, all I'm, them words. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna speak. go. I'm gonna go about an hour. Probably. You're gonna go an hour. Yeah. You're gonna speak. Yes. In public. Yes. In front of people. Oh, uh, oh! You didn't say there were gonna be people. There will be people. There are room full of people. All right. Well, that's over. <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. I'll take over from. All here. right. First stop on the road trip. McDonald's. McDonald's. There you go. Some of us can't road trip without two apple pies and a Diet Coke. Yeah. What are you having, Kevin? <laughs> Breakfast is over, so I'm not getting my sausage biscuit. So what are you eating? So I'm going to have McNuggets. Uh, 26 years I've been married to this man. I've never I've seen I've never had a McNugget. I don't think. So here goes. But, but uh, you did speak. I did speak. I stood up and I basically introduced her. Uh, but hey, tell them why, because people are always getting all over me for talking over you. Because anyway, she won't so let me gonna... talk. I've got so much to say oh, in my soul. That's that's good. That's okay, gonna that's be good not for true. me. That's gonna I'm, be good for I'm me. a horrible public speaker, and I hate it. And I get oh, I just get so nervous. I don't. You're not horrible. You just get so nervous. Well, uh, I guess I would be okay if I didn't get so nervous. But then I also forget words. Because you're nervous. And then I well, you th I guess that's true. I'm a really bad public speaker. <laughs> Kevin starts strong, forgets Peter's things, out. Lane finishes Peter's his out. sentences for him. <laughs> uh, that's the way our so marriage works. We went How does to... yours? <laughs> that's the way ours works. I'm going to stop now because, because I'm a terrible speaker. I'm going to run the PowerPoint like her speech, so this is not like Lane Barrett. <laughs> and then we spoke at the event. That was something we did for Cobb County Landmarks. They had to speak on preservation. Um, they gave me 45 minutes. I wrote what I, I prepared, what I thought was gonna be a 30 minute presentation. Um, 45 minutes in, I had gotten through one point <laughs> of the like three that I had to uh, get It's so through. funny because of the, if the three points, I would have been done in seven minutes. Yeah, and it, a lot to say. I, the words are my You know thing. all the words and you put them in the right order. Look, I went to school on a debate scholarship. I know. It's important that you know. And I was raised by wolves? an elocutor. Oh. <laughs> wolves? What are you? I, you were I raised by I wolves. I was raised by wolves. <laughs> Lord, no. I was raised by an elocutor who literally has his master's in elocution, basically. Actually, it's philosophy and theology. So big brain, big words. Came by it naturally. But that was And fun. she talks really fast, too, so to get... You should have heard it too, because in five, he was like at 40 minutes, he was like, you've got five minutes left. 
and I kicked it into high gear. I was already in like third gear and we went to fourth real fast. I'm trying to blow through it, y'all, I'm sorry. Oh, heaven help. I know. Okay, right, we don't have time for this. I don't know that anybody understood anything I said, but Oh, they it did, was they fun. loved it, it was great. Fantastic, you did a wonderful job. Thank you, sweetheart. And uh, we want to thank the folks in Marietta. Yes, Marietta, Georgia at the William Root House at Cobb County Landmarks. They put us up, they got us a great meal. Um, and it was uh, great to get to yeah. meet a lot of you from, a lot of people from Restoration Nation came, get to hug some necks and meet some friends. That was really fun. They also thrive on your donations. So we'll put a link to uh, donate to them Yeah. in the description. Yeah. So send, them, send them a dollar. Group. Send them five dollars. We went to uh, Ackworth. Well, that's not where we spoke, we went, but we, we stayed went, in Ackworth, Georgia. We were guests of Cobb County Landmarks in Marietta, Georgia. They put us up in Ackworth, which is the cutest, thriving, old downtown. I mean, it is. We couldn't wait to share it with you guys. Right? We were filming like crazy. We hadn't really intended to film much over that trip because it was like what, just us talking. Um, but that downtown is darling. We get there Friday night and people are ballroom dancing. They have a ballroom dancing like storefront. It's got great and it's old packed. houses and they've got great downtown, yes. and a great train station and at restaurants. Park, and we didn't get to park. eat all the food we wanted to eat while we were there. I know, but we ate a good bell. <laughs> we did. Well, we always eat a good bell. Lane, where are we? Ackworth, Georgia, at the Henry's, famous Henry's Louisiana Grill, as seen on Food Network. <laughs> what are you? What are you about to eat, buddy? Thank you. Thank you. I'm about to eat some Louisiana bread, I guess. No. No. Well, after that, gumbo. What's your favorite? What is? What I is the pickiest eater in the world's favorite food? I love me some gumbo. <laughs> Uh, and so that was fantastic, but we also went to an antique store. It was a fabulous antique Really good store. antique store. Today is antique day. Antique day! That doesn't put you in a good mood. I don't know what will. But we drive into Ackworth, Georgia, and we see the antique store, and what did you say? Do you remember? Oh, I don't remember. Probably don't get anything too big. No, what he I said was, you know this is where we're going to find the dresser. <laughs> All right, Lane. Contestant number one. Today's contestant number one brings with her beautiful faux painting, three drawers, and a beautifully aged mirror. Her talent is opening smoothly. Oh, I didn't open the drawers. They're good. Fitting nicely into the space for which she'll be designed. That number one position is often a good position to be in because then everybody following you has to be better. So you can let her drawers all slide very nicely. Really? Mm -hmm. I was going to check that out. See, this is what? This is what? Clarence, 459. <laughs> this is what would have been not in the phone book. No, this is what would have been in the phone book. Yes. Well, I'll be on trial. I need to speak tomorrow about the straight please. Don't put me on the party line. I don't want everyone listening in. Lane thinks this is contestant number two. Uh, yeah. So we go through the whole upstairs, and we look through the and I was like, looks like you're getting off a scot free because I don't see anything. Yeah, well, here. the thing that she did find and buy were little pieces of furniture for her mom's dollhouse that she has trouble finding. I was like, this kind of furniture I can carry all day tiny, long. The whole bag full of furniture. Uh, just a bag full of furniture. Just a tiny little yes. bag of furniture from my mom's dollhouse. She wanted antique dollhouse furniture and she's been looking everywhere for it. We walk in and there were like three shelves of it. I was like, and I was grabbing it like it was yes. Black Friday at the dollhouse furniture, furniture I can store. carry. But then what happened? Then we found out there was a downstairs, mm -hmm. and we went downstairs, and the perfect dresser presented this. And the angels sang, Aww. Aww. dresser. Well, it had strawberries it had on strawberries it. Strawberries on it. And for those of you who don't know, I have, our last name is Berry. So anytime I see anything antique with berries on it, I have to have it, period. I mean, like, period. And we already knew that we were looking for this dresser, so. So she had to have it. We thought maybe we can fit that in the car. Right. Ah, we better get a trailer because we were going to make another stop yes. at a wonderful person who follows us, yes, our... Diane. All right, this is. Oh, I thought we were taking a picture. No, we're not taking a picture. We're going to show <laughs> all the goodies. This is yes. Diane and Lane. David, hello, David. 
at their beautiful Hi, home. Kevin. Their beautiful <laughs> home on five acres. Eight and acres. They, eight acres. My bad. And they gave us like so many presents. Okay, you can't see it very well <laughs> no, now. No, but when we unload we'll it. We'll unload it and we'll show everybody. We came for one thing. <laughs> we came for one thing and left with a million. <laughs> so out. sweet. She says we're helping her out. I'm dying. I'm literally the best Christmas ever. Yeah, June. really. Merry Christmas to us. Thank you so much. I have this piece that will work for you and it will look don't great want it. in the parlor of pearl. Yeah, I don't need it anymore. It's just kind of taking up space. Um, I noticed that you have this other piece that's kind of similar. If you want it and you guys are kind of kind of coming through here, stop and get it. And I was like, are you? Are you sure? Are you sure? Because I will pay you for it. <laughs> She's like, no, 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 no. It's just taking up space in my house. I want it gone. You're doing me a favor. So we went ahead and we rented a trailer thinking. and got our dresser in there and thinking, yeah, we'll just put a couple pieces in there. So then we went to Diane's house. Got to Diane's house. And she just loaded us up. And she said the words awesome. that every antique lover longs to hear. She said, come on out to the shed and dig around and see if there's anything you'd like. I mean, it was just a, hey, you can have this and you can have that and you can have this and, and you can have that. I mean, we loaded the trailer down. And, she, and we kept saying, Diane, let us, pay. please let me write you a check. Please let me write you a check for this. And she just kept saying, I've got to clean out this shed. I want to make this a studio. It's packed full awesome. of this stuff. I can't put it in my house. Thank you, Diane. We love our nation. We love Diane. The pieces you guys are, are so kind to us. Perfection for Pearl. They're oh, yeah. perfect. Like, like literally, she. Whenever she bought them, she bought them for Pearl. She just didn't know it yet. <laughs> so we got. We have to film some of those because I don't think we filmed those. We did though. We did. Uh, we, we did uh, bringing them in a little bit. I can't. Oh. Well, did we film loading them up a little bit and then a little remember. bit? You filmed me with Diane a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So we do have that. So I'll go and film a few of the pieces so we can see where they are and how perfect they are yes. inside this house. It's insane. It's insane. So this is our closet, and this is most likely where this piece will go. We'll have hanging on both sides, and then dresser, mirror, mirror built in the back. Uh, but then we got started on drywall. Which is just, it just is so exciting, it's ridiculous. It really is, that room was rough, oh. the plaster was Busted all up. Had actually little pieces of drywall here and there, here and there, hither and thither. And it was funny because we knew it was in bad shape. And that was one of the reasons that we decided to do the drywall. But as we started working around it, it just it's just disintegrating oh, it's just almost. Apart. I mean, it is just falling apart. So we made the right decision in that space. Drive your mud really well into your seam. Get you a nice smooth coat for your 
tape to go on to. Now, I use a clean trowel instead of the one I've been mudding with. Hold it at the bottom. Press it in. Voila. And then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll put a coat over the top. And then we'll sand it a little bit and we'll put another coat on. But eventually we'll be done. And it never ends. And it never <laughs> ends. It never, never ends. <laughs> no, it's all good. You'll have to watch next week's or the week after's I don't Probably the week after. video to see the finished drywall because we just started it today and yes. didn't get finished. I am going to show you right now though how to, how to mud a corner, tape and mud a corner. Corners are scary. People are very intimidated by the idea of doing a corner. If you, if you use the wrong tool, you're going to rip your tape all the bits. So here's a quick tutorial on how to tape and mud and Tape and bed a corner. Ready? Go. Okay, friends. We're gonna do the scariest part of drywall taping and mudding for anybody who's new at it. We're gonna do the corner. It's always the scariest part for everybody. It's really not hard though. And I'm gonna show you some things to do, some steps that really make it a little bit easier. Um, the first thing is the consistency that you want your mud. You're gonna use a lot of mud when you're doing a corner, but you want it kind of the consistency of pancake batter. We use, we use a pre-mixed mud. We don't mix our own mud. You're gonna need what I have here, which is a bucket of water with your corner tool in it, and then your tape and your mud and some scissors and your trowel. You wanna use plenty of mud. And you're gonna push it into your corners. I can already tell I'm not gonna have nearly enough mud. I should have known better. You're gonna put it pretty thick. Thicker than you would on your normal joint for sure to start. Looks like here's truly I was only smart enough to mix up enough mud for one side. So I'm gonna mix up some mud for the other side, but that'll give me a chance to show you what the mud looks like when we start, as opposed to what it looks like after we mix it. So this is my mud now. This is how it comes out of the container. And this is how I use it everywhere else to fill the holes, to do the other tape. This is not how thick we want it for our corners. So hang on. Okay, so I'll show you. I have three heaping scoops of mud, just a little bit of water in there. You see how much water is in there? Very little. But because mud is a clay based product, it doesn't take a lot of water to thin it out. And we're back to cake batter. So here we go. One of the reasons we wet the mud down, well the reason we wet the mud down, I should have told you this, make it a thinner consistency is because your drywall mud starts to set when it's exposed to air. You need more time to be able to manipulate your material and you don't want to lose that time by your mud drying really quickly. Okay, now the scary part for most people, the tape. So I'm gonna make sure we have enough for the length of our wall. More than enough, really. And we're gonna fold it in half. Then we're gonna go stick it in a corner. Just kind of lightly tap it in as you go. This is your corner tool. I dip it in a little bit of water, not a ton. The water only keeps the tape from sticking to it as I glide it down. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna climb back up to the top of the ladder. We're gonna put it right in that corner. We're gonna press with soft firmness and pull down. So we pull that excess mud with us as we go. So we slide down the joint and less your trowel has been used for years, and I mean years. 
they are going to have sharp edges. So when you're up in here trying to go one side at a time with your regular trowel, what's going to happen is you're going to tear this tape. This is a $13 tool that will save your sanity. Gorgeous, one more spot up there, we gotta get. It's a good looking corner, y'all. I'm just gonna run down these sides where the excess has squished out. Your mama would be proud of. After we get all of our drywall finished, our sheetrock done and taped and mudded and perfectly smooth, imperfectly smooth. It'll be perfect. Ish. Ish. I am a perfectionist. We are going to paint that room and then Lane's going to go to work painting a mural in there. Yes, I am. You may be hanging wet board in the bathroom while I'm painting a mural. We had a photograph when we first started our Instagram account with Louise. Uh, she had a wisteria vine that was growing into the house, into in her window, into the house. And I feel like I'm like really spoiling it with this, but that's okay. Um, oh, I think it's so, it's such a great tribute, really. Yeah, it's- uh, To it, all of these old houses. Right, right. It was one of the, the, the everybody's favorite photo of Louise was that wisteria growing inside and then blooming. It was blooming inside the house. It smelled fantastic yes, in there. Yes, <laughs> it did. And the walls were kind of this yellow butter color and then there were those beautiful wisteria blooms. And so the photo was just gorgeous and people went insane for it, even to the point of like, do you have to cut it? Do you have to take it out? Yeah, yeah yes, we do. Yes, it's, so, Miss Pearl's front bedroom is going to be kind of a creamy butter yellow and I'm going to paint a wisteria mural on that wall. It looks like it's crawling in the window. That is the plan. I don't see that plan much. changing. I, I think that's going to happen. I am busting it to get this drywall uh, done so I can get to work on that mural. I'm excited to see this. Yeah, that's, uh, that's exciting. So this week, one of our themes in our houses that we do is we do a lot of bees for berry. Berry. And we do a lot of strawberries, right? For berry. For berry. <laughs> so we kind of incorporate those because we love them anyway, bees right. and strawberries. Yes. Uh, so we incorporate those bees. in our houses a lot and she buys a lot of furniture and things like that. Fabrics that have and bees whatever. And... So yes. when Lane paints her mural, what should we do? Do a, a little hidden bee or a little hidden strawberry? Hmm. Hmm. Tell us which Tell one us. you prefer. Comment below. B as in bzzzy bee. Bumbly bee. Not the letter B. No. A bzz a bumbly bee or a straw berry. I like both of those. I know. They would both be cute. Let us know which one you <laughs> want to see hidden in our in, in mural. Lane's mural. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe, comment, Please. share, like. All the things. All the things. Especially these restoration videos. Um, yeah, we need your help. They don't get as much they don't get as much. If love. you enjoy them, please share them because they don't get as much love. And, and we need all your love. Well, it's they, just, we need love on those more than anything. Yeah. The the house tour videos get so much love and so they get shared by YouTube. I don't know if everybody knows that the way the algorithm works is the more people that watch a video and then share the video, the more people that YouTube then puts the video in front of so it gets a greater reach. So if you just share it with your own self. Yes, if you enjoy <laughs> watching Lane and Kevin try Sweat. to put these houses back together, <laughs> share it with your friends. Share it with your friends and yourself. I know I share my favorite things with myself. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Until next time.